Dr. Greer? Yes. We are having grand rounds. Okay, well, next to the last. Welcome to our visitors. We look forward to talking to you in detail as the day progresses and know you're going to have a good day here with us. Um, we do the, our, our grand rounds on interview day, have a couple of our residents present cases that they've been involved in recently and talk a little bit about that so that you get to get some idea of the case distribution and what uh, kind of timber our residents are made of. So we're always proud of, of them and uh, the presentations they make. First one this morning is going to be by Hunter Rooks. Hunter is a University of Tennessee Medical School graduate <clears throat> who's third year. Yes, sir. Uh, and uh, we'll talk about, uh, I guess, a spectacular case you've been involved with recently. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you, Dr. Franks. Again, uh, welcome all of you to Chattanooga. I'm glad to have you here. Uh, we're obviously all proud to be here. Uh, thank you for sharing your time with us today. Chattanooga is a great town. Here's just a few of the things you can do here. There's concerts by the rivers. Uh, this is Rock City up in the top right. We have uh, baseball games, um, outdoor rafting, um, Iron Man, sports galore. It's our art museum down at the bottom. And, uh, um, honorable mention to Dr. Burns' uh, cattle sale. So I'm going to present uh, an interesting case of a carotid body tumor I saw uh, with Dr. Uh, uh, Giles, Dr. Fisher, and thank you, sir, our vascular fellow, Dr. Huddleston. Uh, I'd like to thank them for allowing me to be a part of that. So WP, this is a 30-year-old male who initially presented to us um, after an ATV accident uh, in September of this year. On his uh, trauma workup, he had uh, incidental finding in his CTA of uh, bilateral carotid body tumors. Uh, his only real uh, relevant history was that he has a cousin on. See here, common carotid similar. And this thing they uh, had Dr. Fisher, his workup, laboratory values, uh, blood um, arteries, the increased vascularity to this tumor, vascular supply to the tumor. <laughs> he, around initial dissection, when we first came in, is intricately involved with each other. Next, we have action. Uh, this is the, you can see the common carotid and the IC helper cell nerve uh, that go up to a little bit of the anatomy like and paragangliomas. Often they'll present in the second, so uh, popular, uh, with pain, hoarseness, distress. It's finger incidental. Uh, CT is all important not to biopsy the distance to have tumors undergo resection. Radi Let's look a little bit at what the literature says about this. If I patients treated with surgery alone. So this is another study that looked uh, improved, uh, had improved amount of, and they found resected, and the internal carotid, branch of emboli, and cranial nerve injury, blood loss, um, and it had, uh, and the way that embolized, uh, and there were several other variables, distance to base of, base of cell nerves were the mostly correlated with uh, estimated this data, and found that for every centimeter, here, you know, as you can see on our imaging, body paraganglioma, which is what we own eulogy. He followed up uh, with Dr. ENT to evaluate his vocal cord. Since three patients in 35 years, it has been found because of tumor. And this tumor deals with tumors of the neck more than I embolized. The reason we embolized was all by him embolized ahead of time. Embolized, I would have. That is a good non operative at all. Can decide who needs radiation and who doesn't. A big little. After having radiation of the neck like this. So. I'll bet you some of that was not paying of that rarely happens anymore, but to, it really helps that much. So years and I've had three. Um, be kind of picky about your imaging, and fella stayed in the hospital waiting on that. Then you know, five to ten percent. Pick it up. What's the average age? Uh, <clears throat> Doctor Golfball game at church and you. Right, we'll go ahead. To, right. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about an interesting thing. So welcome to chat. Here we are on Halloween. Um, this is God behind guidelines for management of these patients outside hospital originally without had a, her past month, She smoked a pack a day for approximately her umbilical and left upper quadrants. Look at the second and one more operating room. So she was taken. She was placed in the continued. From there, we proceeded with renal. We then performed her right renal artery ICU and stable. But this is what that looks like when everything's actually. Aneurysm will be associated with secondary damage. For these aneurysms, it's going to be, for example, 80 percent of the most consistently proved. Sure, any patient that has a rupture does sufficient scan, but another large history, age, and their lifetime. So I hope they were counting. Of aneurysm, 3D reconstruction. If you're going to, so this is for you can see that type one is what our patient had. 
The six had to hear the diastole space, approximately here. Beta blockers and ACE inhibitors or other hyper. Most of they um, have more. Is your ejection fraction less than 35? So you have three options. You could amount of considers greater than 50 minutes to be. So what are your endovascular options? Obviously, different management. What did we do in this patient? Prepped and draped prior to induction of anesthesia. Super prevent in non-urgent, non rough the main predictor for early death. Management. Patients will have renal disease at base. So 20% of these patients have laxity with their thoracoabdominal. Between the two. So supported by level one evidence. During patient did $44,000, whereas end of... And if that sounds like a lot, you won't believe what... I was telling her, they'll have anecdotes and so kind of thing. So I've seen a bunch of these conservative stents are doing all sorts of older. We never used healthy, so that was some of the other tricks of the tree. Expect. I wouldn't use the same sets. I guess Dan's going to have something to say. We collective elected. You alluded to some of the and somebody on the back table making the holes saved us a couple worth of stents just to see if we involved um, the technique that several times in a lot of jet fuel. Maybe you've got to use those for visceral vessels. And that way you're going to do is it uh, about the same in our patient we had last week i mean we come and he was oh and when he died we're operating but i thought i was going to try you know, so yeah. one yeah, every i mean we, day, we yeah. these operations all the time get better results and fast there's a lot of variables and uh, t-branch devices which are already preformed holes uh to kind of yeah yeah probably and just kind of the availability of that operation where you do them probably within 45 minutes is an alternative and um I think or like you could. So it's a, it's a, it's a job. Yeah, that's I know our faculty does. This is not too far from here. Spends time talking to you and turn the lights down, John, please. Uh, what? Uh, there's nothing greater late in life because it's so. And then on, I always tell people enjoy. Tell you to enjoy the ride because. In terms of talk a little bit about Chattanooga, uh, the, the cities can say that. Very few, you know, as most places do, when they ever live there. Uh, it was the largest in the world for a long time. I think that that occurs downtown. Sophisticated, simple. Here's a piece. So as a result of the papers on injuries from hang gliders, nice to own by them, we still live here. Uh, and of course, we're centered here in the plecular surgery. Uh, facilities uh, continue. Um, I like the fact of uh, Tennessee, first in the southeast, and it's expensive to care of the, a co collection. Now getting down more granular, and the first thing is care of a patient that are more senior going to come. And I know this sounds sophomore. It's to get funded research here. That's not it. That's what we do. And that's about what you might be working in can handle the statement, I guess, of that. I can argue you like that. That's fine. But you really want to be around and try to help take care of for that matter. See a surgeon work, it's another thing. Who's going to stay here the whole time? Are you Giles? Um, if you have an interest in being a faculty member here, within that faculty group, uh, uh, which we spend them. And the next thing on there is the rest. Not all. I've seen every program in America better than everybody else's, but better than percent for that. Uh, so there's some things today, including your team of people, it's going to be like to take that board. And uh, so we start um, so long ago that the breast, uh, we don't, nothing that uh, we hope turns in this. Well, that's one of the real values we think of to deal with them. That uh, pictures from the skills lab that actually drugs them a lot. Um, uh, research activity or um, when they, about the 80 hour work week, we qualifying. But anyway, that's they want to. But I'm oh, a 50 what, Good plastic surgeons have, have uh, interviewed. But you we want to do as much as we can afford it. Your data, we hire uh, that in a minute. Lap cup sounds crazy. You couldn't buy one. So we had the first paper published on um, uh, published by surgeons that we knew. a six-year program two or three years ago. Had created. We're so good. After a couple of years later, 
if they had just allowed have some hearings to practice, which is essentially a child runs that as well. And with your Jason, the idea of a pair uh, and he was that they couldn't do it. And say, you know, I don't want to do a pair stop together a whole lot better. Uh, uh, we probably will not be adding more capsules. And so then a pediatric surgery resident bought our stereotactic machine and few can find. Uh, as far as leadership goes, change, although we do have agreements with the with a lot of really great uh, developing the colleagues and they parents with the diversity of, you know, like with the students. And that certainly has 15, 20 years. And, and I look forward to, to talking to all. So I'm going to uh, just cover a few of your uh, ball. Um, and then you found Chattanooga, which means that you're elite. So more th that might have been. But uh, it's, for all, it's unbelievable as far as what your opportunities are. It's not something we do just every now and then. This is every week. The most time with Richard Cook, who is the lab director, and that's the way we like to have it done. It's, it's real to do. It's just a, a slight model of practice on uh, suture. It's never come back fashion on a, on a hernia. It's, it, it works in both ways. Um, to me, that is much um, operative. The first half is for interns second techniques and so that's kind of what that uh, but so um, come into which four months in some cases put them together to your schedule more but typically they're not and so we're waiting on IRB approval or wait straight through general surgery in the first fit, like one continuous year in the ICU with year and then complete your last year and so but they'll be double board certified once they get there the standard so to give you an idea, or, and then he spent his three months in Athens, not gonna, and so did, was that we would, maybe we're not part of the standard general surgery career. Think all of our pre stuff graphs he sends down here, but he does the majority. I've already planned to do that community. And so he is, he is really going right now. And so it is one of our thoracic surgeons during your year of flexibility. It actually would work in component of this um, resident in the level. Um, doing all the ACE you're heading, and it's really for somebody who's very one scrub hats, uh, so that if you see people walking around and, uh, to celebrate their their time here.